Hello everybody, welcome back, Humbler here. And yeah, I just received a package the other day from Dixpix and he made his first challenge lock, which should be in here. And yeah, usually people do that for the blue belt and he used that to apply for his red belt directly. So way to go, but yeah, I'm excited to see what you came up with for your challenge lock. So he's quite a talented picker also from Germany and yeah picked some assets the other day and check out his channel i'll link his channel in the video description and let's see what's inside here i'm excited always nice to see first challenge logs Okay, so here we have it. First challenge was already to get it out of the wrapping. But yeah, let's look at this. The devils, the devil's demons. It's in April 7240, April 2023. Ah, very nice. This is his logo. Nice that he engraved it. So the typical April 7240 keyway. 666 and yeah by dick pigs really nice choice for a challenge lock let's have a look at the key okay what is going on here on the top no idea but nice bidding key works fine we can cut it in a second um, of course, I have prepared a screwdriver, <coughs> not. <laughs> but I can get one. So, yeah, let's lock it back up. And I think with challenge lock, it's best to get it in a vise. And get picking. So I'm not so sure what about the top here. I cannot imagine that it does play such a role because there are no driver pins. But we will see. Let's poke around in it. And then we can see more. It's a little bit. that good for you? I hope so. So let's grab the tensioner and then my trusty number seven profile and for the 7240 I like the thinner one in 0 0.4 and let's directly check the top so I can feel the holes. But nothing in there. Let's hope it's all just fake. And let's get picking. I'm using this tensioner here in one millimeter. So that works. No, no, it's not good. Get that in there. Was clockwise tension, and yeah, let's start.
try something stiffer in 0.5 millimeters. Yeah. Finally, don't tell me it's a trap. No way. Mm. Yeah, it's open. Okay. Uh. Really the devil's work. Okay. Glad I got it open in one sitting. Let's get all this away. Yeah. Clearly picked. Nice work, Mr. Dix Picks. Really nice. So let's get this. So I just fast forwarded this process of cutting and I still want to show you the, the pins. So here in six we have a nice tapered spoolish thingy. Very nice and I think this tapering really came out of all of the pins. Here in five the driver was like this. One small serration. But yeah, this pin is also close to zero lift, so good choice here. Just put one sharp serration. Then in four. Uh, what is it? Chamber four. We have this nice spool here. With a step to it. Oh man, these small abs, 70 to 40 pins, really tough to grab. But yeah, it sits nicely on shear. Very effective. And then three. Um, can you see that it is also tapered? So it's not only serrated, but you will have to pick it multiple times because it changes its diameter. And this is what I felt during the whole picking process. Just going back and forth between all these pins. Here in two, also very nice tapered driver with serrations, strong serrations. And here in one, this nice gin-like pin. Yeah. 
Um, I'll take out the key pins in a second. I see no modifications to the housing. Here's the back. So it has by dick picks. And yeah. Let's take out the key pins. Okay, before we look at the key pins, let's have a look at the housing. So I see some milling threading or so. Maybe it's just also a step. I don't know, here's a step in I think all of them. So maybe he just widened the hole just a tiny bit. Just so you have to pick all of them twice or so. Anyhow, let's have a look at the key pins. And all of the pins together. So all of the key pins are very nice torpedo pins. And yeah. We have just a beautiful arrangement of pins. I think here in one, oh, maybe it was like this. I hope I have them all in the correct orientation. Oh yeah, all the springs are standard. Abus steel, magnetic, unfortunately. Yes, so very, very nice pin work. Um, the all of the driver pins seem to change their diameter towards the top. I think this one goes this way, maybe. So there's a good back and forth between the pins, which kept me out quite for some time. So yeah, dick picks, really great work. Also with this nice modifications to the housing. I mean, this is just amazing, just the idea of engraving your logo in here, really cool. So great work for a first challenge log, but what else would you expect from a red belt, right? <laughs> no, seriously, so overall, very nice work. Also, hey, I thought, ah, this can, this, this confusing method here on the key, I thought, well, this cannot be anything, but at some point during picking, I was like, oh, maybe I should still check with the pick I did, and I was sure that there's nothing, but yeah, confuses people a bit. Very nice. <laughs> also, very nice pitting. Ah, 666. Six, six. I didn't notice. Yeah, just like, yeah. Cool. So, yeah, to everybody who's still here watching, thank you very much, and hope to see you in the next video. Thanks again, Dick Picks, and yeah, please subscribe and have a great day. Bye.